All right, we've got a little valve field here, guys. I got the wrong stock, so I gotta return it. I was hoping to get the right one, but I gotta admit, guys, I'm new to this, okay? <laughs> okay, this this whole world, this didn't exist five years ago. Uh, you know, in the airsoft realm, for me at least. Okay, I don't remember it existing. I'm new to it, so I had to Google it, and research, and so I got the wrong one. You can see I picked up a 5KU grip. I thought this just looked cool and it matches to me the theme of the project. We got something that's kind of futuristic looking here. The only thing I wish is I wish this was like, you know, rainbow over here. If I could just whoosh, magic on oh, that'd be awesome because then we have nice contrast everywhere, you know, for this build. And the goal is to get a folding stock to keep this nice and compact because it's it's a pretty damn compact gun. AAPs, I think, make excellent carbine kits. And CTM, just to me, honestly, guys, this is where their strength is. They knock it out of the park with this stuff. It looks so cool. It feels fantastic. And um, we're going to chrono it right now. Okay. We're at 120... 125 PSI, I think. I don't know, my eyesight isn't great today. Okay, so let's just shoot the sucker. Let me move this on the other side for you guys. We are going to put in this Da Vinci 7 inch. <laughs> I am scared to see what this shoots <laughs> with the 7 inch. Okay, here's the numbers. This is 125 PSI. Yeah, it looks like it. Average is 382. Joules is 1.35. Two L's. This is just a shitty two Colts, okay? Good old. We're done. We finished the first bag. Now we're almost done with the second bag. I need to go buy some more shitty BBs. Cause that's what I use for mostly testing purpose, right? You know, I gotta buy the cheap stuff. Cause I go through uh, so many. Now, this is where I'm like stuck. I think we're gonna split into two videos. This is gonna go into hot swap. Okay, this is TTI. We we saw that TTI did an amazing job with their. Uh, hammer set okay so I'm curious about their TDC this came out I want to say maybe a, a month or two months ago so relatively new this has been out for a long time I got this a long time ago I this one I had to hunt down so let's just see what it what it takes to install uh, if it even works in here okay this is the beautiful Da Vinci we have a seven inch custom inner barrel okay this is uh, we got this, I think it was 177.8 or something. Okay, you can see in here, this is a 601. We have the 605 right here. But we're going to see, I want to see what it shoots. I was talking to my friend Joe about it, and we were just laughing, thinking about how hot this will shoot. And I'm pretty sure a lot of us want to know. Remember, guys, this is a stock, a damn stock AEP, okay? internally besides the blowback unit okay oh wow this is different okay wow, wow. do we we might have to dedicate we might have to scrap this video well i'll upload it but okay. can this even how, how do we even do i have to take all this apart to to take it out can I take out the blowback unit, so rear side blowback unit, pull this out, and then slide this out? Alright, let's try that. That seems to be the least amount of work. And then we'll look at the... Oh my god, this is completely different. <laughs> okay, let's get this guy out. Two. 
This should come right out. Love that. I just love. Look how easy that is, guys. Nice. I just love that about the AEP. Next up is this one and two. We should. I guess this would be. Let's see that how it works. One. It might drop. It's okay. And then two. Wow, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> how can you not love that with how easy it is to take apart? Okay. Alright. Let's begin looking at this. We. What would you guys say? Do we use AP bucking? Should we use the AP bucking? No. I would tell you guys, if you're going to spend 50, 60, 70 dollars on a 70 inch inner bill, I would tell you guys to get, you're going to get a stronger degree bucking because that is going to, you know, need a lot more power. And you would probably, you're going to run 30s to 40s to 50s if you wanted to. Look at the size difference. I kind of want to just put it into here and see what we get and maybe we dedicate a different video to this so it's not you know what guys let's do that let's let's do that i think realistically if i were to build a carbine yes you you should get a tdc okay but i still need to figure out who the best tdc is okay so what we'll do is we'll reassemble this and i'll just we'll do a i want to do a fresh video for this i feel like that would be more appropriate because this is important this is important stuff the tdc's are important they should deserve its own video so let's just this will be just a funny ha ha he he video because that's what it really is we want to see what a chrono is with seven days i feel like we're a bunch of boys right now and we're like oh shit how hot does it shoot you know and that's uh me and uh jt were laughing about that's the exo one guy uh, we were both curious like okay man how hot can it shoot <laughs> you know that's what we want to know we want to know how hot can it shoot so let's see how hot it can shoot with a stock hopper unit and stock bucking okay that is what we're seeing as for the bucking of choice you you guys determine what you like okay i think for anyone that's gonna be my customer i'm probably gonna shove mr hop up down their throats because I, I actually really like mr hop up and i might 3d print something to help engage it a little bit more in case they're running something really heavy because it's got a huge contact surface okay there you guys look look at the size difference <laughs> oh man Let's see if it even works. That's the one thing I didn't even consider. Right, so far, it looks like it's working. Okay, maybe we should flip the other way. For this guy, you have to, you have to hook in the arm. There's a little slot it goes into. You hook in, and it'll be just like that. It's a slot. There's two slots you hook it in. It's, it's a very interesting system. If anything, I think they did a great job. I, I Honestly, guys, I think whoever is behind the AEP design is a genius. Okay, I, I got to give them credit. Okay. Do I like the 17 system, 18 system? Hell no. But do I think how they designed this is genius? Hell yeah. This is like an example to me of guys, what I'm talking about, like the, someone who's got the real deal. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not even at that level. Okay. I, I wish, I'm not going to wish. I would like to be there one day. And that's where I keep on learning and, and doing stuff. But to design your own system, man, that's that's awesome. The, uh, the guy who did the SSP-5 his own system guides inspiration from high kappa but he really took his own design and then changed it up okay he's someone that understands all right same thing with AEP. same thing with anyone that makes these these pistols ground up those are guys we got to give our thanks to okay those are 
the one that made airsoft possible and then also just keep on pushing the envelope forward me at the end of the day guys i'm just a consumer i'm not anything special that's for sure i'm just here to help you guys out as much as i can and make it fun that's why i want us to all have a good time okay you know what I like about this guys is actually you can hit it from the outside. You can like if you get a little flat, you can adjust it from the outside. Okay, let's just put it. I think it, when we found it, it was in a, at half. Uh, half. Let's just see what it is. It's, it's a little crooked, but who cares? We're here to see what seven inch does, and we gotta be careful. I gotta figure out how to. <laughs> oh my God! Look at this, guys. We gotta sneak this in. Make sure I don't hit the crown on anything. <laughs> oh, I want to see how bad it's going to shoot. Okay, so far I feel like we're doing okay. Oh, shit. It's going, it's going. Oh, I think we have enough clearance for a tracer. I'll be damned. I think we have enough clearance for a tracer. You guys have to be careful. That's why I have the tracers out. Oh, I hope we do. I hope we do. I know he's going to be so happy. He's going to be so happy watching this right now. Uh, he wants to run a tracer. Uh, and I say, hey, I'll put a adapter on it. We have to make sure it engages it. Yeah, it's, it's a little off. <laughs> oh my god. God damn. And the thing is, you guys, you need a thick one. I purposely put on the thickest one I have. I got this from Airsoft Megasword. This is uh, Ace Tech. It's an Ace Tech thread adapter. And it, it was only, like I think, six, seven dollars. There's some that are five, there are six or seven. You guys, the, the tracers, the, the thread adapters, you want to get the ones that will suit your build the most and I was like man I need something that's really thick usually I don't like thick I like thick and I want things to be as close as possible but you know we have this blast shield here and I need to extend it as far as I can so it's enough to hit the sensors okay let's look is this on low value okay there we go all right and I think hopefully we have enough I don't know that's cutting it close okay Let's get some. So far, this one, the, the red one came off really easy. The uh, the coating for the red one that just came off like butter. We don't need to do it too tight because honestly, guys, if this actually works, I would put a TDC in here. Okay, if you're running a seven-inch build, you want that TDC or the strongest hopper unit. Does does the Action Army hopper unit suck? Hell no. It, they did an honestly, they did a really good job. You guys ready? Let's see where the Kronos. Should we see if it even works with the tracer? Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. It, we'll see if it pops it off. Where's it not screwed on? Was it righty tidy? Uh, we'll just leave it up for now. That's fine. We just want to see if it actually works. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> Here, let me. I'm gonna shoot it to the side and see if it actually activates. Okay. It does. All right, we're in business. It actually, we have enough to trigger it. Okay, you guys ready? Let's see what 700 gets us. Could be low, could be high. Who knows? Let me try to. No read. One point six. This sounds like it's murdering someone, honestly. Why are we not getting reads, huh? We got one shot at 424. We got two shots. So is it at 424? So we got a 40 FPS increase. Can we kick this up a notch? Yes, we could. We could, first of all, we could run a, a high flow a high flow, we could run a nine ball gasket. We know a bucking will help increase that PS a little bit. We could probably get to 500. Oh, I suspect we can. And I, I'm suspicious why is it not recording all these shots. Damn. I don't know, maybe it's time to get a new chrono. There was one that, one guy I remember a long time ago recommended this like, it was like a Polish one or something. But I didn't want to get it, it was just so big. I want something that's compact. So maybe I'll look at Ace Tech. Um, Ace Tech has a, uh, what's it called, a chronograph. I want to get their tracers, see how their tracers, but look. Oh my, look how mean this thing looks. Right, let's just try to back it up. Let's see. Yeah, okay, God. I would say we're, <laughs> we're at 420. Joules is 1.692. And remember, we're, we just put in a, a 7 inch inner barrel into a stock hop up unit. No TTI, no action army, no maple leaf bucking, no. Let me show you guys the mag. Okay, stock and stock. Oh my god, this is going to kill people. <laughs> oh man, okay. Short little video, guys. Um, that deserves its own video, okay? And then the, the reality, guys, I am, I'm going to take the 7-inch back out. Uh, because I, I think a carbine build like this would need this. Okay, so I think we'll put this guy into here. And this will go into hot swap. And this guy will go into that one. Okay. Okay, if you guys have any questions, let me know. But you saw we went from this about 380 to 420. Okay, you guys do the math. That's about 40 FPS increase with just one part. Okay, imagine what you can do when you stop.